Hello, boy. Today I'm going to celebrate 900 subscribers by showing off my entire Vegetel DVD, I mean VHS and DVD CD collection. Yeah, I am going to show off some CDs. I do have some CDs, also from my childhood. Today I'm doing my Vegetel collection to celebrate my 900 subs. Thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. That I appreciate it. And this might be a little bit longer video since I have a bunch and lots to talk about. I will try to go fast though. Before I start, I'm going to start off with my... Wait, what was it? Everland Entertainment first, and then my Lair Studios. Then the Word Entertainment, then the Wonder Home video, then the Sunny Warner, and then the 51 Penguins at the end, and the CDs. First, and then I'm going to do the same as the DVDs. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, my vets took quest and I've been upgrading a lot since the start of the year. So yeah, let's get started. Starting with the Everland Entertainment. First one I have is the Everland Entertainment Red Shack Benny. I got this from the Volume Village, um, or the Selfish and Army Twist Store, I should say, in Cook County, three years ago. So yeah. This tape has oversized reels, and this one does not have a print date. This one I have. This one is a recent one I got. This one is the Everland Entertainment reprint of God Wants Me to Forgive Them. I got this from eBay about a couple months ago. And this is a Strawberry Green Tape version with the Everland Entertainment stick label on it. With the Invisible Ink label of April. Hold on. April 6, 2002. I believe it's a print date and the visible ink, as I can see there. So, yeah. And once again, I did find this at the. Well, I found this at on eBay. Alright, next one I have is the Everman Entertainment of Are You My Neighbor? Another reason I picked up, which is about five months ago. And I got this from my local thrift store, Crestwood. I have not watched this tape, I don't think. I think I have. No, I didn't. I don't think I watched this tape yet. But yeah. Here's a tape with stick label. No print date. Oops. Sorry, I'm having a hard time putting this in the box. Alright, there we go. Alright, here's the last underwear and tape I have. This one is the Toys Say Christmas. I got this from the Selfish and Arby in Cook County at the same day and the same time as Rex, Shack and Benny. The tape, this one also has oversized rules, just like by Shaka Benny. And this one does not have a per date. Alright, now that's it for the Everland Entertainment. Now to my Lyric Studios. This one is the Larry Studio Rare Cup Quenchel copy of the Toy Says Christmas. And just so you guys know, I do not have um, any um, hit or entertainment copies of Vegetals yet. I hope to get those someday or sooner. 
I do know that there's only like three hitter entertainment copies of VeggieTales, which is um, the Ultimate Silly Song Cat Town, which I do not have that tape yet. I used to have it as a child, but I don't have it anymore. And um, the two um, Heroes of the Bible tapes that had a hitter entertainment release. I do not have those tapes yet, but I hope to, I do plan to get those someday. And this one is also a library rental for the Northside Middle School. I got this from in a lot bundle um, on eBay with over tapes, so yeah. It's a tape. It's a green tape with the label. Print date is October 2nd, 2000. Here is um, the Lair serial copy of God Wants to Forgive Him. I had this tape for three years. Um, I had this in September of late 2019. With other tapes as well, so yeah. It's a tape, black tape with the eighth label, I mean sticker label. Print date is uh, December, December 30th, 1998. I also got two different copies of the Lair Studio of Where's God When I Scared. Here's here's uh, my second copy, I should say. Um, this is my second copy. I got this at the my local thrift store, Crestwood. It's a tape. This one has a stick with it and the black is a black tape. Birthday is October 23rd, 1998. And here's my first copy, which I got at the Volume Village in Fairview, uh, late 2019 in September. No, I got this in a different timing. I got this um early 2020. So yeah. And uh, at the Volume Village. As you can see, the box got ripped off because I was trying to pull out the price tag on it. And it was attached to the box. So it, some parts got ripped off. So yeah. That's the tape itself. This one, this time is a green tape with the stick label. And the part date is January 11th, 2001. This is the Lurid Studios um, of Dave and Giant Pico. Um, I believe I got this at, also got this from the Volume Village of Fairview, but um, I got this um, early 2022 of last year, I believe. So yeah, it's the tape itself. This is a black tape with stick label. For some reason, the tape is um kind of not labeled correctly, but that's how I got it. So yeah, birthday is September fifteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, the stick label is kind of weird for some reason, but that's how I got it. So yeah, this is my childhood favorites. This one is the Lair Studios of Josh and the Big Wall. I got this, got this in uh, the thrift store at Crestwood, and it's a good condition as well. Here's the tape. This is a green tape with the stick label. Birthday is January twelfth, two thousand one. Pretty the day after my um, the. Green tape, Lair Studio copy of God Wants to I mean, Worst Call Man Scared. So, yeah. Got pretty lucky with this tape, and it's in good condition. I used to have the black tape cassette of Josh of the Big Wall Lair Studios, which is my childhood copy, but uh, my my mom threw that out a long time ago because it was um, somehow a little damaged for some reason. 
I would eat rest that we still kept it, but it was cases anyway. So I'll probably get a new cop. I'll get a new copy anyways. So yeah. Alright, the next one I have is two different copies of Very Series Songs. So yeah. Here's the first well, my second copy actually. This one I got um at the Foggy Village in Crestwood. It's a tape so this is has a stick label and it's a black tape. Um I had not watched this tape yet. As you see it needs to be rerounded. Printed is May 14th, 1999. Here's my first copy to second. This one I bought. I I'm so yeah. I got this tape from the Volume Village of Fairview about a year ago. So tape. This side is a green tape with the stick label. Birthday is May twenty fifth, two thousand. This one is in a customized case. Um, I'm planning to get rid of this because I do not like the picture because I was the one that covered it. Um, this one is my customized um, cover with my childhood copy of VeggieTales series seeing sing, sing, sing lawn and the, and the silliness. Um, this is not supposed to be silly scene 2. That's not the right tape inside, but I'm going to get a new copy anyway, so I'm going to get rid of the picture anyways. You can see the print date for inside is April 12, 2000. And I'll show you the tape real quick. And this tape is not in the best shape. This is... And like I said, this is my childhood copy. So yeah, I did all that when I was a kid. I took out half of a picture of the stick label that was on the tape. And yeah, this one is the Lear Studio, so the green tape. Print date is eight, oh, wait a minute. I already showed the print date, so yeah. and But I will show it again. April 12, 2000. This one has a crack on there as well. I believe I stepped on it when I was like four years old, so yeah. I had this at my grandmother's house. And uh, she brought it to me, so yeah. And a lot of them, which is my Barney and VeggieTales and um, everything else I had on VHS was donated. And I also had a lot of DVD as well, and that one got donated as well. So yeah. But I am planning to get those back in my question. Next one is the latest serial copy of The Toy Says Christmas. This one I got at the Trist store in Crestwood. This one is a lighter green tape with the ink label. Print date is September 25th, 2001. Uh, here's a later serial copy of King George and the Ducky. Got this from the Volume Village, um, early 2020. It's a tape with the 8th label and it's a green tape. Printed is June 17, 2000. I do plan to get a black tape copy of this someday if I can find it. Here's the last layer serial copy I have to get until I get to the water attainment. Uh, this one is, um, Esther to go to became Queen, or serial copy. I got this, um, at my local trust store in Crestwood. It's a tape with the 8th label and it's a green tape. Print is November 26, 2000. That is it for my Lurie Studios, now to the Word Entertainment. Starting off with two different copies of Madame Blueberry. 
Here's my first copy, which I got on September of 2019, around my birthday, my 18th birthday, so yeah. Here's the tape, black tape with stick label. This one has two print dates on each side, but for both the same print dates, and it is the 46th day of 1999 on both sides. And for some reason, when I go to thrift stores, Mad and Blueberry is one of the most common tastes to find. So yeah, I just want to give you proof. I don't know why, but it's super, super common to find every single thrift store I go, I go to. I see it, so yeah. And here is um a Rare Cop, Rare 2003 print copy of Mad Blueberry for Rare Entertainment. I also got this from the same store, but I got this one um, uh, in April of last year. So yeah, and here's the uh, rare black tape with eight label. And yes, I do know that this tape is rare, and I found it at the Volume Village. So yeah, Invisible Ink is October eleventh, two thousand three. Okay, next I got two different copies of the Toy Says Christmas for Weird Entertainment. Here's my first copy. I got this from the Volume Village in Fairview. Actually, I think I might have got this from um, the Salvation Army in Cook County. I might be wrong. I don't remember where I got this. I do know I got it from one of those stores, though. Here's a tape. This one is a black tape with the 8th label. Print date is the 235th day in 1999. Alright, here's my second copy from Winter Entertainment. I also got this from the volume version of Fairview, but on a different day. But I think I got the other copy from the Selfish Army in Cook County, though. So, yeah, I don't remember, though. Here's the tape itself with the ink label and the green tape with the layer print of August 9th, 2002. This one I have. This is my childhood copy. This one I got from my dad's house. And yeah, it was me and my cousin's tape. And they all gave it to me because I'm a VHS collector. So yeah, this one is the Weather Entertainment copy of Silly Sigalon 2, The Anisiliness. Unfortunately, the tape, the boss is uh, a bit derish now because I had to put stuff in my um, new shelf. Which don't have very much room on it for some reason. But it's for temporary for, for right now until I get four inch shelves. And I'll figure out where to put stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I barely watched this copy. So, it should be played like new. So, yeah. It's a tape itself with the stick label. It's a black tape. Birthday is the 316th day in 1998. <laughs> As I got the um uh the weather entertainment copy of Larry Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed. Um unfortunately this is the only Larry Boy tape I own. Well I do have a couple on DVD, but this is the only one I have on VHS. So yeah. I do plan to get more. If I can find it at twist stores, then yeah, but I'll probably get it on eBay because I'm having a hard time finding it in twist stores. This one However, I got early 2020 at the Voggy Village in Fairview. It's a tape itself. This one is a stick label. And it's a black tape. Invisible Ink is July, July 10th, 1999.
That's what I have is a weather tape copy of Esther the, the Girl to Became Queen. And this tape is somehow really common to find as well. I find it at the Trist uh, Savers. I find it at Goodwill. They're everywhere. So yeah. This one is in much better condition than all the other ones I found. Uh, this one is a black tape with the eight label, which is not actually rare to be Zach. It's pretty common to find, but I this is my first copy, so yeah. Printed is September 9th, 2000. I do really hope to find a great tape copy with the white ink label, which is pretty rare, so yeah. This one I have. This one is a replacement copy for my other copy I got for the Volume Village of Fairview. And I got this to replace my other copy because my other copy is very, very damaged. So I got this to replace it. This one plays well. At least great. So yeah. And this one, this time I got for the Goodwill store. This one is a lot of the kind of vacuum where it came copy. It's a tape. Ink label is a green tape. Invisible ink. March 7th, 2001. Just on my old copy. This one I got at the Google store about like five months ago. This one, this is weather entertainment of Jonah's Sigma 1 Sons of War. This is from 2002. Um, I got this for the Volume Village in Fairview when on my first week of volunteering there. So yeah. Sorry, my foot is literally asleep right now, so I had to move. Uh, here's the tape itself with the eighth label as a green tape. Print date is invisible ink. And then there's July 2nd, 2002. This one I have. Um, this one is not temporary at Weather Entertainment, but this is a FHE picture. Uh, this was Jonah Vittito movie, 2003 VHS. This one I got from the Volume Village in Fairview, uh, late 2019. And this tape is also very, very common to find as well. Here's the tape itself. This one has an ink label as a black tape. This tape was purchased for the album video. Was this probably my third or fourth um, VHS coffee that was purchased for that place? I have a Scooby Doo tape that was purchased on the same on the same store in Breeze, Illinois. I thought that was pretty cool, and I got it from the stuff uh, at my local volume village as well. Both of them. All right, next one I have Weather Entertainment VHS. A start the start of Christmas from two thousand two. This one I actually got from eBay. The Weather Entertainment, and. This tape is um, about 70% common to find. I don't always find it, but I did find at least four copies of it. I also found a copy of this um, at the Goodwill store in West Carson. But I left that one because I already had the tape. So yeah. Here's the tape itself. Great tape, 8th label. Per date is October 4th, 2002. I do know that some copies come in the black tape. I hope to get that someday. If I can find it on eBay. Alright, next one I have. This one is the 2003 VHS of the Wonderful World of L Entertainment. Um, this one is to replace my old copy that I, I lost as a kid. I used to have this on VHS. And um, I also had a, I used I, I used to have it on DVD as well, but I lost both of them. So yeah, 
but I got this replace it. I do hope to get the DVD copy of this someday as well. This one I got at the Trist store and Crestwood. It's tape, eight label, great tape, invisible ink. It's April 16th, 2004. No, wait a minute. April 16th, 2003. Sorry for the. Sorry for the. Sorry, I got a little messed up there. It's actually 2003. I have another vegetable tape that was pretty closer to that day, but in 2004, so I got a little confused, so yeah. Um, this one, this one was a recent pickup. I got this from my local Goodwill store two weeks ago. This was by way of Lil' Joe, where it came with VHS. You can see the brass price tag for Goodwill. I got this for the Goodwill store, so yeah. I'm going to open there. I barely go to the Google store and yeah. We like to go savers because we get coupons there for donating. But here's the tape itself. Um this one is a green tape with the purple white sticker label. Which when I first found that tape I thought it was a reprint, but no, it's just it's just a stick label. So yeah. I got a little excited there, but I was excited to find the tape because I never owned the tape before. So yeah, Pretty is Invisible 8, July 7th, 2003. So, um, so the taste that he put scotch tape on it, so yeah. Here's the next movie, this one. Um, is the 2004 Water Table VHS of An Ace to Curl. Which I did do to open the disc copy. Um, um. About a week ago, so yeah. If y'all want to see the opening to this, I have a video on my channel for it. I did it a week ago, so yeah. It's one of the only vegetal tastes I have with the white tape and the ink label. I did find a white tape copy like this on the start of Christmas, but it was multiple tastes, so I did not get the white tape copy of the, the start of Christmas. So, I got the green tape instead, but, oh well, I was still happy to get the tape, but it was extremely rare too. Not expecting to get that, so, hopefully I can find it again, but I don't think I can now. But here's the white tape at the ink label. Invisible Ink, January 16th, 2004. Um, for this tape, for this tape I got from eBay last year. And um, I also found this tape at the Volume Village, I mean, the Twist Store and Crestwood, the Word Entertainment. I thought it was pretty cool. I was about to get it to sell, but I already had my 30 tastes of my card, so I left that one. Um, here is the 2004 Word Entertainment VHS on a Snooze Hotel. This is a... Good condition as well. I got this from the volume. Uh, I mean, the Twist Store in uh, Crestwood. Here's the tape itself. This one has a green tape and an ink label. Invisible ink. Print date is April 23rd, 2004. This is the 2004 weather table of Sooner the Opera. This one is pretty rare tape, and I got this from the volume, I mean, the Twist Store in Questwood. Tape, eight label, green tape. I still haven't watched this copy yet. As you can see, it needs to be rounded. Print date is Invisible Ink, and it's August. Hold on. August 8, 18th, I believe. No, it's August 16th, 2004. Sorry, it was kind of hard to see. Ugh. Alright, next one I have. 
is um, Winter Entertainment of Minnesota Coupe, the search of Simon's Hairbrush, Rare 2005 VHS. Um, for this copy, I got from eBay, completely sealed. But for some reason, at the beginning, it's damaged. I think it got some faded. So, yeah. And I also found another copy of this at my local thrift store in Crestwood. Which is in good condition. I also test the tape and it plays really well. So, I'm planning to sell that other copy that I found from the thrift store when I get a chance. I might I might try doing it when, once I start a job. So, yeah. Because I know that you had to pay to ship it out. Which is kind of stupid, but oh well. Um, here is my last, or l not least, of uh, my winter entertainment tape. This is the Extreme Wear 2005 VHS of Duke of the Great Pie War. I got extremely lucky with this tape. I found this at my local thrift store at Crestwood. I am not kidding. This tape is very rare and I found it at the thrift store. And I do hope to get the Sony Warner print of this. I don't ho I also hope to get the Sony Warner print of Minnesota Cuke. It's the tape itself with the ink label, it's a green tape. Invisible ink. Print date is February 1st, 2005. I don't think I showed my, I don't think I showed the tape for this one, but here is a good tape with the ink label is a green tape. Print day is Invisible Ink is May 16th, 2005. Sorry, I forgot to show my print date on this. My fault. I do know that one of the 2005 VHS Vintage Tales I do not have is uh, Lord of the Beans. I do have it on DVD, but I do not have the VHS. I hope to get the Sony Warner Prep first, though. Or else I can look at a store, so yeah. But that was the last of it. Um, this next one, I'm kind of confused. This is my childhood copy of... This one is the WEA VHS, the Josh and the Big Wall. I'm assuming this one, I think I need to switch the picture out because I think this is a Vegetal Classic. Because it's a WEA tape. But let me know in the comments. As you can see, this is W distributed by WEA for Josh and the Big Wall. But, and this is a 2002 print. So, I think this is a Vegetal Classic VHS, but I'm not too sure because when I got this tape, this one was caseless and it came in this white coin show when I got it back in 2006. So, yeah. But here's the tape itself with the 8th label and it's a green tape. Print is July 14, 2002. But, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to call this a, a Vegetal Classic release for WEA. Oops. Yeah, but the screen there broke off somehow when I was trying to put something in or trying to take something out. So, yeah. All right. That's it for the Word Entertainment. Now to the four Warner Home videos that I have on VHS. It did upgrade it a little bit, but not too much. That's my uh, Wonder Home video, 2002 VHS, so the start of Christmas. Uh, this is my second copy. I got this from my local Volume Village at Fairview uh, back in May of last year. And I also got um, this with uh, another. With that copy right here, I got that one on the same day as well. 
Anyway, here's the tape itself with the green tape. It's an 8 label with the Warner Home Video initials on it. I did watch this tape once, so yeah. Birthday is December 12th, 2002. Here is the Warner Home video of Lion and the Kanye Viking. It's a tape, I mean, the spine and the top and the back. Sorry about WA. That's why I think uh, this copy right here is from. I should know. No, it doesn't matter, okay. But I do think that was a vegetal classic. It's a tape result, great tape, eat label. I watched this tape once and plays well. Birthday is August 14, 2002. Uh -huh. And I haven't mentioned this. Um, I found this um tape at my local thrift store at Crestwood. Wonder Home video, so yeah. Alright, next one I have is the 2003 Vegito Classic Wonder Home Video VHS of Mad and Blueberry. For this tape, I got on eBay. So yeah. Here's the tape itself, ink label, green tape. Pretty September 6, 2003. I do had to prepare this tape when I got it, so yeah. But it was a really cheap price when I got it too. All right, here's um my last uh, Wonder Home video VHS I have. This one is a Wonder Home video VHS of the two thousand four VHS of the Ace Girl. This was in a harder clan show. For this tape, I found at my local volume village in Fairview, which I got pretty lucky with. It's the tape itself, but the green tape is the eight label. Print date is January 16, 2004. Same print date as my winter entertainment copy of Venice Carol. Yeah, both copies have the same print date, but in different locals. So, yeah. That is it for my Wonder Home video. Now to the two and only um, Sony Wonder Tates for Vegetals. This one is the 2002 Sony Wonder Vegetal Classic of Are You My Neighbor? Which I doubt is from 2002 because it's from Sony Wonder. But that's what it says. This tape is very rare. I got this from eBay. Here's the tape itself. This one's my very first black and white sticker label print that I own. And it has it's a green tape. Print date is January 15, 2006. Well, my only 2006 prints from Vintage so far. And I do plan to do my 2005 and 2006 VHS again once I hit up to 1000. That's my next step when I hit to a thousand subscribers. Here's the last um, Sony Wonder print I had. This was the 2004 Sony Wonder VHS of Sudo Abra. I got this from eBay um, February of last year. It's a tape, purple by Stick Label. And the birthday is on the lid. Birthday is the 50th week of 2004. Oh, no. Sorry you can't see it too well, but it's the 50th week of 2004. That is it for the Sony Warners. Now to the now to now the rest of the tapes I have are uh, 51 Penguin tapes. 
Which I should have showed them in my Wither Attainment question, but oh well. There's the first one that ever got released. This one is the... This one is 51 Penguins Trouble and Point of Wake Your Turn. Um, for both episodes 1 and 2, I got from my local Volume Village in Fairview, uh, late 2019. There's a the tape itself. I believe this is the only 51 Penguins tape to come with the black tape with the 8th label. So yeah, pretty um, October 21st, 2000. This is my second one. This one I also got from the same place my other copy, which I just mentioned. I forgot to mention, this one is 51 Penguins Chaining Scales of Bumoga. Tape. And this one is a green tape with the eighth label. Pretty is as visible ink and it's June twenty second, two thousand one. And I don't think I told you guys this yet. I think I did, but this tape has a glitch. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to get massive copyrighted, but I really want to show you the proof that this tape has squished out. I think what happened was someone had this tape in their VCR player. And while they were watching um, Doug, Doug on Nickelodeon, they had recorded, recorded the TV show. And it recorded on this tape. I think that's what happened. When I get a chance, or if I... If I don't, but if I, I will try to post it on YouTube, but if I get massively copyrighted, it will show it, show it, I will delete it, and I will probably not show it on YouTube, but I will try to show you proof that this tape has glitch. Alright, the last, last free free to one Pegasus tape I got, I got from the, the Twist Store and Crestwood. So yeah. Episode 3, this one is The Amazing Carnival Complain. This is a good condition. <coughs> Here's the tape itself. This one has a green tape and the ink label. Invisible ink. Birthdays, October 19th, 2001. Episode 4, this one is Runaway Pride and Light Station Coil It. This is from 2002. Tape, ink label, green tape. Invisible ink. Print date is August 29th, 2002. Alright, here's the last few chests I have in this video. This one is episode 5 of the Doom Funnel Rescue. Yup. And I do not have the Wonder Home video additions to 51 paintings yet. I might get them from eBay, so yeah. But here's the last tape I have. And I... I think this tape is pretty rare too. I don't think this tape is that common to find. I found this copy at the at my Trist store in Crestwood. So yeah. Here's a tape itself, ink label green tape. Invisible ink. Print date is November 25th, 2002. Alright, that is it for all my VHS. Now to the DVDs, but first I'm going to show the CDs I have. They are caseless. Um, here is um, Bob and Larry Know Your Name. So yeah, that was my childhood. I don't remember how I got that. I know one of them came 
my um, DVDs. So yeah, and here's the the Larry Boy soundtrack, which I don't play anymore. So yeah, all right, that's it for the CDs. Now to the DVDs. Now, sorry with the word entertainment. Here's my childhood copy, 2002 DVD of The Star of Christmas. I'm going to get a replacement copy for this because this one is a recorded disc inside. Yep, this is just a recorded disc. So, I might get a new... I, I think I'm just going to get a new copy of this. And I'm still going to keep the recording one, though, and just give it to someone in my family. Um, here's the Wither Entertainment 2004 DVD of the Easter Carol. This is my childhood copy as well. I had this tape for a streamy, I mean, I had this DVD for a streamy long time. And some of the digital taste I had personally, I lost. So, yeah. And I don't know, one of them just broke and we had to throw away. Here's the disc. Uh, this for this um insert, um, I I got this insert in my um in this case when I got it, but it was so big, it was getting crumbled. So I put it in this case instead. So yeah, and I might get a a, a replacement copy for this one as well because this one is scratched up, and yeah, but I will probably still keep. The white case, and I'll probably get a different cover case. I'm hoping to get the yellow case for this because I think that one was cool. I know that some cases of this come in the white, um, green, or yellow. So, yeah. So, there's three versions. This is my childhood copy of the Weather Entertainment VHS, uh, I mean, DVD of uh, Duke of the Great, Great Pie War. This one has my name on it, so yeah, that was from, from my childhood. I remember getting this back in 2006, and yeah, I think I got this from, yeah, I had this taste since I was four. It's a disc. This one I have. This one I have for over a year now. This is the 2006 v I mean DVD of Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. This is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, this one did not get a VHS release at all. Even when they showed the the trailer to this on Minnesota Cute to Search for Simon's Hairbrush on VHS. So yeah, but this one did not have VHS release at all. I might make a homemade copy of this on VHS someday, but it will be now. It'll probably be like two years later because I don't have the stuff for it. Alright. This is the last winter entertainment tape I have. Well, not typically a winter entertainment, but yeah. This is the 2006 DVD of Vintage's George King George and the Ducky with the Bonus episode of 51 Pagers went away probably the light station, which I do have on VHS right here. So yeah. Um, I switched the case out a long time ago. This one was originally a Barney for a Barney disc, but I switched it out to in this one for some reason. I don't know. I like to switch stuff around to see what it was like. But yeah. But this, the case for this one used to be green when I got it. Alright, here's the disc. And this tape is a little scratched up. So, yeah, but oh, that it still plays fine, I guess. Alright, now to the four Warner, Home, Warner Rubber DVDs that I have. Here's the Warner Rubber DVD of the 2004 DVD of A Snooze Hotel. This is also my childhood copy. Had this for a really long time and it's still in good condition. 
I did not watch this as much. I didn't really enjoy this much as much. I thought it was it kind of boring, but it's still a decent one. I remember watching this and it literally puts me to sleep. Yeah, I don't know why. That that movie makes me fall asleep. Um, here's the um, 2003 DVD Vintage Classic Warner Brother WEA DVD of uh, David the Giant Pickle. I had this one for a really long time. I believe I got this back in 2009 for Christmas. As a Christmas present. It came with a little purse and a, like a stuffed animal or something. And I have another DVD that I'm going to show after this. So yeah. Here's the disc. I hope to get the Vintage Classic of this on VHS. When I get a chance. And here's the 2003 DVD. Uh, the Warner Home, I mean Warner Brother WEA DVD of uh, Vintage Classics Live in the Guy Vagine. I got this on the same day as um, David the Giant Pickle. It came in the same purse with the uh, stuffed animal and stuff like that. That's a Christmas present back in 2009. So yeah, I had this one for a very long time. Here's the disc. This is the last Warner Brother DVD I have. I believe this one always had a Warner Brother release, so yeah. But here's the Warner 2007 DVD of the Wonderful Wizard of Oz, which is my childhood copy. I know my sister had a copy of this as well, and her copy was a white case to the green, but mine came with the green. So yeah. This one was my favorite growing up. I watched this like. Almost every time I watch it. It's a disc. Um, I believe I got this for Walmart. Um, back in two thousand nine, late two thousand nine. Yeah. Alright, that's it for the Warner Brothers. Now to the Sony Warner prints. This one is the 2004 Sony Warner Vintage Classics DVD of Larry Boy in the Fifth Hour Space. I hope to get this on VHS. Well, any kind of copy because I do not have it on VHS yet. Um, this one I got from Slackers about a year ago. At the Ophile Mall. Um, here's the disc. It's in good condition too. Um, I was supposed to show this one first. But well. This one is um, a Sony Wonder print. Of Heroes of the Bible. With David the Giant. David Goliath. Esther. Daniel and the Lion's Den, my childhood copy. I used to have another copy of this, which um, was a second print, but I lost that one. I got probably got donated or something. I do hope to get it back in my collection. I'll have to get it on VHS. I don't think the Sony Warner prints had a VHS release though, but I do know that it was released in Entertainment and uh, Wood Entertainment, so yeah. Here's a disc. Next is the 2004 Sony Warner print of Super Mario Opera DVD. This is my childhood copy. I had this one for a really long time. Here's the disc. I've already gained this uh, back in 2006, I believe. 
So yeah. This one I have for a very, very long time. This is my childhood favorite. This one is the 2005 Sony Warner DVD of Minnesota Cook in the Search of Summer's Airbrush. This one was my favorite vegetal copy I had for a very long time. And I'm surprised this one is still working too because I scratched this up pretty pretty good so yeah I don't know how it got back to work again I had I think I had this TV since the moment it came out so yeah I believe so right. here's the last Sony Wonder print I have this one is the 2005 Sony Wonder DVD of Lord of the Beans one of my favorite. I do like this one a lot than all the other mental movies I have. And I really hope really hope to find this on VHS. So yeah. I know you I I pretty I think I just go ahead and get it from eBay once I get paid. So yeah. Um here's the disc. Still in good condition too, so yeah. Alright, that's it for the Sony Wonder Prints. Now to the rest of the Vegetal DVDs plus a one free to one penguin DVD I have that was destroyed from 2008 through 2013. So yeah, here's um two different copies of the Pirates that don't do anything from 2008. Um, here's this one I got um um a summer of twenty twenty two. I got this for the resale store for about dollar twenty pre owned. This is a universal universal release. This is the yeah, this is the universal print. Here's the disc. And unfortunately the the case is broken. It will shut away on the top. But oh well. And then here's my childhood copy of the Paris Don't Do Anything. It includes new music. And sing along songs and more. This is certainly one songs and more. Yeah, my mom bought me this back in um 2010, I believe. And yeah, I had this for a very long time. And I do like the the band in that one that was seen, the Pirates that Don't Do Anything. I really, really enjoyed that one. I have it on my playlist. This is also a universal print, which I just noticed till now. This one was released in 2007. So yeah, it's a disc. This one I have, this is the 2008 DVD of VeggieTales Ape and the Amazing Promise, one of my favorites as well. This one says it includes a bonus CD. I don't remember it does or not, but I remember I gave this from Walmart and it came in the Swift Boss as well, but I lost that one a long time ago. This one was a pretty fun one, I like that one. Um, here's the disc, and this one did not come with the CD, so this one lied to me. Unless it's this one, but uh, yeah, it's this DVD that came with this. Okay, I remember now. I was so confused about how I got this until now. I'm going to put this in... Yeah, so I believe this one came with this. Um, here's the 2009 DVD of Saint Saint Nicholas, the, the story of joyful giving. 
I had I, I got this for Christmas back in 2009. This one came with the cup box, but I did lost for a while and I actually found it and I put it back in so I still kept it. So yeah, I'm still lucky to find the cup box to this. Here's a disc. Um, here's the 2010 DVD of the double feature of God Made You Special vs. God Made Scared. Um, I used to have God Made You Special in a separate, um, Growing up, but I lost that one. But I do hope to get it back in my question today. I remember getting it from the grocery store or something. But I have this one now. Um, this one includes God, Garbage Made You Special. It includes David the Giant Pickle, um, Are You My Neighbor, and um, A Snooze Hotel, and Where's God My Scared? It includes. Where Scott went and scared, and Dan Daniel and the, and the lions stent. Um, here's a disc. I think my mom got me that DVD a long time ago. Um, here's the rest. Well, here's um a DVD that my sister Brooke had when she was younger, but she does not watch anymore, so I decided to have it in my collection. Test of VeggieTales. This one is the 2010 DVD of Sweet Pea Beauty, A Girl After God's Own Heart. This one was not my favorite whatsoever. I guess it's growing and everything, but I just, I thought the story was kind of terrible. In my opinion, uh, here's the disc. There's um the 2011 DVD of Princess and the Pot Star: A Story of Train Places. Which that one was something. I think I think this one is so ironic, like too ironic. And unfortunately, um, the case is really broken, as you can see there. And this was was also my sister's, and she doesn't watch Vegetos anymore. So yeah, um, I might replace the case for this, which so I'll probably do at the video, and I can just throw this away. As you know, I think it's just the picture, but I'll make sure. Oh yeah, the case is definitely broken. Yeah. Wonder I don't remember how that happened though. But here's the disc self. I might replace the case for that one after the video. Alright. Last two and get to the one and only 51 Pick Take DVD I have. These are the Larry Boy Superpower Pack. I got um at the Lump on all. Back in 2009 for Christmas. Um, this one comes as a CD as well. This one includes um, Larry Boy in the Bad Apple, Larry Boy in the Woo Wee, and Larry Boy in the Fifth Hour Space. The, both copies were released in 2012. This one is Volume 1, of course. Here's the CD, which I also have right here. So yeah, well this is just a reprint. But here's the disc. And here's volume two of the Larry Boy Super Hill Power Pack. And it includes the Angry Eyebrow, Lego My Ego, and the Yoga Napper. Uh, to go ahead back in the ugly. 
which I really hope to get these on VHS as well. I do not have these Lurie Boy Cartoon Adventures on VHS yet. Here's a disc. I think I might watch them sometime this week. I haven't watched them in a long time. I remember watching Angry, Angry Eyebrow on VHS when my mom was getting married, but I never owned it. So, but I do remember watching it on VHS going up. Here's the very last DVD for this update. Weather Entertainment, um, 2003 DVD of 51 Pegasus Moon Maze, so put it to a lie. This one is a 2003 DVD. This one I got for Slackers last year. Here's a disc. This is episode 6. Okay, that is it for this video. See you in the next one.